Ah, it's you. What's up? You don't look so good. Really? Don't know why. I'm just the same old Alvin. I thought you were done with lying. Duty calls. Better get that. Department of Dimensional Affairs here. I'm calling because we've detected a new fractured dimension. Knew it. Better hightail it over there and smash that thing. Yes. Please do. <laughs> I've sent over the coordinates. We believe the rift is in Nia Kara. I'm counting on you. That Vera is all business, huh? Well, let's just hurry up and get to it. <sighs> yep. Wonder what sort of divergence catalyst will be waiting for us this time. I'll be crossing my fingers that it's not some giant monster. So this is... Niakara, right? Over there. Hey, check out Press's ring. That's the Divergence Catalyst. Yep, no doubt about it. But why is Alvin with her? This dimension. It's from the past. Me and my pals over there are about to attack Jude's group at the Nia Kara Holomont. Then my two companions will fall off the cliff. If things play out the same way in this dimension, the Divergence Catalyst will go down with them. Probably. We better not let them leave the city. I'll lure Press over there. It's the only way. How are you going to do that? I'll just pretend to be me. Should be easy enough. Let's split up for now. Go wait at Mila's shrine. Be careful. Looks like I got here in the nick of time. Press is on her way, so make yourself scarce. 
You changed your clothes? We're about to fight a major battle. Yeah, well... <laughs> That's so like you, isn't it? So, what is it? The ring. Huh? I'm afraid I'm gonna need it back. Is this a joke? Sorry. So everything you've said to me was a lie? <sighs> Pressa, listen. What? Oh, creepy. You have a twin brother or something? Hell if I know. Two owls? Pressa, that man's an imposter. Get away from him. You don't believe me? Idiot. The line here is, I want you to trust me. I told you to get away from him. Wait! Pressa! What are you doing, you moron? I... I didn't mean to. Don't you dare move a muscle! Pimple! What are you doing here? Agria! Enough! Now who the hell are you? Hey, come on. Help her already. Don't you... Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting tired of this. Just shoot him already! She's right. Let's do this. It's not me! This is all your fault! No hope for you, is there? Ha! You just read my mind! Shot. I got your back. Ha. Moonlight! 
Damn it. Maybe I'm doomed to fail. That's not true! You... you tried your best. Thanks. I appreciate it. Pressa, talk to me. Pressa! Not again. You still not sure? Do you regret being with me? Do you regret our time together? I... never regretted a single moment with you. Do you? I... I don't regret it either. How could I possibly regret it at this point? When did you get so bad at lying? Just take a moment to open your eyes. You found your place. <laughs> Even at the end, you're still thinking about me. From the moment we came in here, there was no way to avoid this. Don't mind me. Do it. Pressa, I did find my place. I won't leave. Sorry. Gonna step out for a bit. I figured it out finally. What I gotta do. I hope it goes well. Yeah. Anyway, I'll give our report on the fractured dimension while I'm out. Strange. Suddenly I can't stop thinking about fried chicken. Sounds like we should eat soon. Hey, got a second? You seem kind of tired these days. Maybe this will put a little pep back in your step? This is the sort of thing friends do for each other. Hello, hello! Nova here! Got big news about your next job. Sorry, Nova. Luger's tied up at the moment. What? Hey, wait a minute! Just tracked him down. Yep, we'll be right over. Just hang tight. They want us to hurry? Pretty much. Luger, you've been such a big help to us. It's only fair you come see our big announcement. 
No, let's uh, call it a celebration. In other words, you're just inviting me out for drinks. <laughs> I knew you'd pick up what I was putting down. And as the only journalist invited, I'll be coming along to document the whole thing. We expect big things from you, Snoops. We've booked the bar in Duval, so we better get moving. Duval? Way over there? I thought I'd be rubbing shoulders with a who's who of Sean Du. I'm not made of moolah. Believe me, I checked out some of the options. My wallet hurts just thinking about it. Ouch. Alrighty. But you owe me one, okay? Better start saving. Fair enough. Let's just call this the pre-party. <laughs> started without me. Well, you never said not to. Right? Balin was telling me about the time you two went drinking. What? What's the story? Let's just say it involves a sloppy young Alfred and a humiliating confession. Never happened. Stop making stuff up. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get anyone a drink? An apple juice, please. Whatever they're having. You? Tomato juice, please. To each his own. Guess we won't be telling any embarrassing tales about you later. Ahem. I'll start with the big news. We need to unload all the merchandise we've been planning to sell to you-know-who. Huh? Are you okay with this? Apparently, it's just how you break into the business world in Olympias. Exactly right. Going after them now wouldn't accomplish anything at this point. Hate to get a bad reputation by making a big deal out of this and losing. Huh. Because that would just make things worse. Fortunately, we're not alone. Balin had our back on this one. Uh, I know some people. So you taking that job they offered? Turned them down. I'm business partners with Jurgen now. There's absolutely no way I'm just tossing that away. Very well said. I mean, you even came to me for help. Hey, so are you really okay with this? We talked this over already. It's all good. I'm fine. I really am glad I got into business with you. Thank you. This was a real learning experience for me. I'm not the world's best businessman. It's pretty clear that I need someone like you around. Come on. I wouldn't even have known where to start without you. Listen to that. They're the perfect team. Yeah. There's no need to patronize us. The perfect team, huh? Gotta say, I'm looking forward to the future. Oh, final question. So, the two of you got into business to build a bridge between the two nations. And do you still think that's possible at this point? The two countries certainly have radically different values, but that just makes for a challenge worth meeting. Sometimes there's more important things in business than simple profit. Now that I've finally learned that lesson, I'd like to try my luck at it again. Hmm. I think I have the makings of a great story here. Looks like everyone's all set. From the top? Okay, let's do this. Great work, everyone. 
Cheers! Cheers! Thanks, pal, for all your help. is for a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Why not ask the cats to do it? They're always coming back with rare items. What a sweet little song. It's a porridge picking song. The more you sing it, the sweeter the fruit. Shy little porridge sitting in a tree. Humans certainly put a lot of meaning into music. I guess that's true. Reminds me of how Victor sang when he passed away. I wonder what song that was. It's called the Hymn of Proof. Julius used to sing it for me as a lullaby. That must have been nice. It seemed to mean something to Victor as well. I think it went like this. Yes. That sounds about right. Catchy song. It really sticks in your head. There's something about it. It's almost... nostalgic. Yeah. Department of Dimensional Affairs here. We've detected a new fractured dimension. However, we haven't been able to pinpoint where it leads. The coordinates are highly unstable as well, so please be careful. That sounded serious. What's going on? So basically, they have no idea where this fractured dimension will take us. That's odd. They've never had this problem with the coordinates before. Maybe it's just a glitch in the system. Or perhaps the location doesn't exist in this world. Do you intend to take the assignment, Luger? And we're here to help, as always. This mission's a real wild card. We better be ready for anything. Crossroads. They still exist here. Here 
here sure takes me back. Indeed. A great many things happened here. Another uninvited guest? Mila, tell me, what are you doing here? It has been a while, Maxwell. Although perhaps not from your perspective. I hope you are willing to talk to me. I have a question for you. How laughable. Come now. What makes you think that I will suffer your foolishness again? This is far from foolishness. It's important. Silence, human. Who do you think forced me to unmake Mila in the first place? Unmake Mila? So unlike our reality, she was eliminated in this world. I don't know how you've managed to return to life, but you will fare no better this time. Those who stray from their path, who lose sight of their duty, must be unmade. No exceptions. Calm yourself, Lord of Spirits. Calm myself? It is you humans who are the ones that are out of control. And I was a fool for believing in Mila, who shares your human form. If you insist on coming back from death, then I will simply remove your souls from the cycle of life forever. He's not in a cooperative mood. I hate to do this, but you leave me no choice. We will destroy you again, Maxwell! Show me what you can do, Lord of Spirits! I'm sorry to involve everyone like this. Are you okay? Yes, this isn't enough to stop us!
Unfortunate, but we had to. We do what we must to keep moving forward. Yeah. I'm getting stronger. I've grown stronger still. I've got to get stronger. I know you can do it. How? How did you become so powerful? Now answer me this. What happened between you and the human, Mila Kresnik? Did it have anything to do with the creation of the Schism? Where do you hear that name? It's become ingrained in Nia Kara folklore. But the story's details have been lost to time. Ah, interesting. I see now. You must be one of her descendants. That would explain the wealth of your power. I want you to tell us everything. Did you name me after her? After Mila Kresnik. 
And why would you want to know the answer? That's irrelevant to the mission I assigned you. Is it wrong to ask? I want to know about myself. I want to know what went through your mind before I was given birth. You want to know. Perhaps naming you after her led to that as well. So Mila's name was derived from Mila Kresnik. Is that a safe assumption? That woman pestered me incessantly with her constant questions. Why this? How that? She wanted to know it all. The voraciousness of human curiosity seems to have no boundaries or limitations. I must say it never ceases to amaze me. In many ways, it could be defined as one of humanity's most intriguing traits. Humans never halt their quest for knowledge, even if it means risking their own destruction. They're always looking to see what's ahead. The strength of their curiosity is stunning. When Spyrix began to drive spirits and humans apart, Mila stood against it. In striving to understand spirit kind, she represented more than just human beings. She was hope. Hope. She devoted all of her energy to the benefit of spirits and humanity alike. Truly a magnificent sight. It was a slow process, but one that showed promise. In time, humans who wished to coexist with spirits flocked to her side. Thus began the Kresnik clan. And yet, I understand that Kronos didn't think much of her. Kronos did not think much of any humans. At the end of the day, he found them inadequate beings who needed to prove their worth. I get it now. So that's the reason for the Origins trial. So what happened to Mila Kresnik? She was driven to her death by the humans who were members of her own clan. You couldn't save her from her demise? No, I never saw it coming. Unbeknownst to me, the Kresnik clan had become poisoned by a faction seeking to exploit spirits for profit. Mila would naturally not allow that. Therefore, they conspired to kill her. I concluded that the schism was the only solution. I would divide the world and bring over select humans on the Ark. But unlike what I expected, Mila refused my invitation. Instead of coming aboard the Ark, she chose to stand with the humans who had turned against her. And you saw her actions to stay behind as betrayal. Of course. Mila had thrown in with those who would rather pursue their own selfish desires. What else was I supposed to believe? That was a rude but much needed awakening for me. When presented with great power, humans cannot control themselves. And you spoke with Mila about her intentions? There was no need. Or were you perhaps afraid to ask and hear her answer? Afraid to find out her motivations, her intentions, and what she truly meant to you? Power of the Four! Get away from Lord Maxwell! Now! You filthy bourbon! Muse commands the Four here? <laughs> Aren't they nice? I salvaged them from the remains of their former master. So Muse killed the Mila of this world. She's the catalyst. I'll kill anyone who dares defy Lord Maxwell. If they come back, I'll just kill them again! Because that is my sole mission! I'm coming! She's controlling the four? So, she's still trapped in the past. Allow me to free you. Look out! Look out! Look out! Oh, <laughs> 
So sorry. May the four great spirits in this dimension watch over you. <laughs> I'm getting stronger. I've surpassed my limits. I'll keep getting better. Bigger and better. You even bested Muse. Mila. You have seen enough now to grasp the hubris and cruelty that humanity is capable of possessing. And yet you still side with them? It is a duty that I, as Mila Maxwell, must fulfill. Interesting. You have defined your own duty, have you? 
I have, and in this mission, I am not alone. So you too have chosen to part ways with me. Maxwell? Go and live wherever you wish. It's no longer my decision. This is no cause for sadness, Maxwell. Even when separated, the bonds that tie us together cannot be so easily broken. This melody... Yes, no matter what happened, your heart was always so... Mila, why did you hum that tune? It just popped into my head, like a feeling I couldn't put into words. I can only hope Maxwell understood what I meant by it. Thank you, Luger. Because of you, I understand my predecessor's side of the story now. Although, I didn't learn the whole truth about Mila Kresnik. She couldn't stand the thought of abandoning those left in Olympias to die. That's why Mila Kresnik wouldn't go with Maxwell to Riza Maxia. How so? Because the world Mila Kresnik dreamed of long ago is the same one we wish to create now. She couldn't flee to a world that offered salvation for only a select few. But in reality, I'm sure Mila Kresnik wanted to ultimately be with Maxwell, too. So they could make their perfect world together. Jude. We've learned that our dream isn't a new one. People and spirits have been seeking it for ages. We have to make it come true. You're right. For Mila Kresnik's sake as well as our own. It's the lab. I better take this. You might not know it, but you're already walking ahead of me, Jude. But you walk the same road. That much is certainly true. But I know that I won't be around to see everything Jude will accomplish. I realize that's just the way it is, but I don't have to like it. Sorry. You okay? Yes. Is everything okay at work? Yeah, it should be fine. I guess it's up to us to carry the torch passed by Maxwell and Mila Kresnik. Hmm. We will put an end to Origin's trial once and for all. Thank you.